Paolo Schuto joins us now from Warwick with the latest. City Council President Stephen Marola says this is an attempt to rush a very, very important vote without going through all of the details, while the Warwick Firefighters Union says they've waited long enough. Warwick City Council President Stephen Morolla was with a client at his law office Wednesday when he was surprised by a constable sent by the city. I, I, I just thought it was thuggery for somebody to uh, not give the common courtesy of a call to say we're having a special meeting. Documents were dropped off, informing him a special city council meeting was scheduled for 5 o'clock Friday. Five members have to call for a meeting, and the mayor had the notices served. The only thing on that agenda, a vote to ratify the Warwick firefighters new contract. There was no documentation available to Eyewitness News about who called for this meeting. Council President Marola says he's looking for those same details too. People are not going to intimidate me by having me served by constables or trying to embarrass me. That's not going to work. Marola says he can't support the contract the way it's written now, and he believes this is an effort to rush the process. Anybody with common sense looking at this knows that this is not sustainable. We've been negotiating uh, for almost two years. Warwick Firefighters Union President Michael Correro says it's a good contract for both firefighters and taxpayers. He was happy to hear the meeting was moving forward. Firefighters in Warwick have been working without a contract since July of last year. They've had some time to uh, review it. I believe they've had over 20 days to review it if there were some concerns or uh, issues with it. Um, they had I, I, significant time to, to ask the solicitor or uh, the financial advisor to review it. And we have reached out to Mayor Solomon's office several times to get comment about this special meeting, and we are still waiting to hear back. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.